all right guys hi i'm not going to edit this video so i have to make sure i'm sitting properly and you know you all can see me and like i said before i'm not going to edit this video because i already had a, a bunch of stuff to do today i'm pretty tired and i'm looking looking for something super important but i just wanted to make this video you know just a quick video because you know accountability i wanted to make sure that i put out a video every week is one of my goals this year and so far god has really been faithful i've really been able to do it so if you're new to this channel and this is your first time my name is timmy and i film about faith lifestyle and a bunch of other stuff that i am passionate about um i have you know gone through a bunch of stuff in my short life <laughs> and i feel very blessed to be able to share a lot of the things on my perspective on life in general like i said i don't have much time and i'm trying to make sure i put out this video by sunday so um like i said to me and please make sure to subscribe leave a like comment you know that fun stuff and you know there's another vlog coming where i'm wearing the same shirt so you know like as if i'm always wearing the same clothes but yeah even if i'm wearing the same clothes there's something called washing washing yeah you guys get it whatever okay so we're just going to move right into the video so basically my video today is just going to be basically encouragement um if you are anything really like you're probably applying for stuff internships a job so many things because so many deadlines are around this area also people who are applying for college in the fall and you know you're trying to get your stuff together trying to get your documents together trying to get your head in the right space um i just felt like i should really speak on that and speak on the concept of um keeping your head up and really trusting god about things if you haven't watched my first video i'm just going to share a little bit about my own personal journey so basically um i'm an international student i grew up in nigeria and then i came to the u.s for high education or for college and basically before i got to the point where i am now it was super difficult for me because basically it was just difficult like it wasn't like as if i wasn't smart or you know in quotes it wasn't like as if i wasn't you know um good enough or qualified enough because i actually was getting accepted into schools and i was getting like a bit of funding but then somehow like the funding would never be enough or something would just happen and the time would just be off like something would just happen and i just wouldn't be able to follow through with the admission and the part that was so painful about it was that i would do all these applications stay up writing letter, like literally and eh, hmm. if you know nigeria cyber cafe those people they knew me there if he's not scanning it's printing if he's not printing it's filling form if he's not filling form it's edit if he's not something it's something else like i literally was there all the time working on stuff trying to do stuff trying to put stuff together and to be honest it was just so stressful and then at the end of the day i would have to write a letter telling the school i could not attend so basically it was like i was counter like i was just like counterproductive or whatever i don't know what that word is and basically like my efforts to try to get in then i would have to like make efforts to get out and it was just super like draining it was a very draining experience for me i remember like being at some point just angry with everybody angry with the world angry with my parents just angry like just angry period like it was very difficult for me but then um during that period during that i'm sorry there's a lot of noise i don't know something's happening in this city I'm just gonna have to wait for them to pass so that you guys can hear me okay so like i was saying it was very difficult for me and because of that i ended up spending so much time at home that people would call me and So as I was saying, it was very difficult for me and it was a really draining procedure. It was a really draining process for me in general. Like I was going through a lot and I just felt like a lot of people, number one, didn't understand me. I felt like I didn't have any support, even though I was really supported by my parents and my family. I, I don't know, I was just in this space where nobody could talk to me and nobody, excuse me, nobody could make me feel better. And it was just super hard. Like I remember feeling, you know, because I'm a Christian, my faith is in Christ and um i remember feeling like god did not care about me i remember feeling like look here i remember feeling like god backstabbed me <laughs> i remember feeling like god like i trusted you for all of these things and um none of these things are happening in my life like it was really it was hard and it was just hard because it was just like i'm not seeing like anything like if there was anybody people expected not to be in college at this time like 
no posting or anything i'm sorry but like no you were like it was not me and people will keep asking me like okay what are you doing for school and then i keep telling them oh yeah school is fine you know ask me what school are you on and then i leave them on red because like i was so ashamed so embarrassed at some point like i didn't want to leave my house anymore i didn't want to be walking on the street because i didn't want people looking at me and being like oh there goes that girl she's not even in school she just to, like i just didn't want that for myself and i just became very like reclusive i became sad and a lot of my happiness started to really depend on other people and a lot of my happiness started to depend on like people's validation of me how people thought of me and it was a really difficult time because i don't know it was just weird but then um sometime along that point uh god in his love and his care drew me out of that and caused me to focus and fix my eyes on him and then when I started to do that, he started to put strategic things in my life and strategic people in my life that were pointing me towards the place where he actually had him in mind for me to be. And that place was my current school. Because at the time when I was going to apply to the school, like I was already tired, I was done. I was like, Naji, I'm not applying to any schools anymore. Like whatever it is at this point, like I probably can't sell Pepe. Like I'm, I'm, I was just like tired, I was exhausted. I was not ready to apply to any other schools. And my friend just mentioned it to me, it was like, oh, like there's a school that you know give full scholarships or full rise to people they have a pretty good SAT score and she just applied i applied very reluctantly there was a whole lot of drama with that school if you attend the school you already know that they are really difficult like to get the hold of when it comes to admission processes and like it was difficult for me i was calling in and there's time difference again so i have to call like a very uncomfortable times for me just to make sure that i meet somebody or to make, just make sure that my my call doesn't go to voicemail because if it goes to voicemail they're not going to call me back so it was difficult i had all of that at some point they were like oh i applied late this is that so they're like do you want to defer, defer your admission i was like nah G. I was but then my parents are like don't be proud just defer it so i decided to defer it and then in my pride All right, so in my pride, I did not consider like looking at that, making sure that the message or the email actually sent. So when I rechecked it, the email actually did not send. I don't know, somebody just asked me, like, I'm not going to say something because I believe that that was the Holy Spirit telling me to recheck again and just to look at what I had sent. And I looked at it and I just realized that, whoa, sis, you did not send this email. And I resent it. Sorry, mom and dad, you guys are finding this out on YouTube. <laughs> I resent it and, um, you know, and at the point where like it was just a regular day and me and my mom had just come from prayers because we just prayed and what i did is that every time i would hit a wall with the school i would always pray about it i would go to god i would tell god god you know the past half of my life lead me in the right direction i trust you with my life and at that point i had become very very content in the plans that god had for me like i had become so calm i had become like i had my eyes fixed on god and i knew that he would take care of me like at that point I was just completely sold on the idea of God was going to take care of me. And like, you know, I was um, I was just praying about it and everything. And then it was just one night, me and my mom were even talking that night. We're just like, you know what? She was like, you know what? God knows best. He knows what he wants for you. He has plans for your life. He's always like, he's always led you in a victory, like in a triumphant victory. He's always helped you out. And I believe that he's going to do so again. You know, she was just so encouraging. And she was like, you know what? Just forget about all coin. Don't worry about it. Just let it go. If it's not God's plan, it's not God's plan. And that's that. And, you know, I just decided to let it go. And literally that night, I called the school just to find out, like, what was going on. Just to know, like, what's, what's going on. Like, what's going on with y'all? And they were like, oh. She was like, I'm going to send you your scholarship letter. I was like, eh? <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, what do you mean by scholarship letter? Like, what? Literally, I was just asking you if I got into the school. You're telling me you want to send me a scholarship letter. I was like, okay. At first, I thought I didn't hear her properly. So I was just like, mm, what about like with her sending? She said she's sending. And then I opened up the email and then it was a full ride. Okay. Okay, like I said, sorry, I had to fix my camera. Um, Like I said, it was a full ride. And see the dreams i had for myself was that i was going to get into school and i was going to be partially funded the dreams that god had for me and the plans he had for me was that i was going to go to school without paying a dime and i was going to go to school when i was mature and ready emotionally physically spiritually 
to be able to be the person that I am now, to be able to do the things that I do now, to be able to just like be who he has made me to be to the full extent of it. So what am I saying? Am I saying that for one, um, I want everybody to understand that God is good and his mercies are forever and he's a very loving God and he doesn't he doesn't need to put trials in your way just to teach you things. He can just teach you things, period. And I don't want anybody to um, associate evil with God and associate like hardship with God. And just like, just because the thing, the truth is that as human beings, we all go through so many things in life and there are things that we will have to get through in order to grow as people. But what I want us to understand is God's unfailing love is ever present. So if right now you're dealing with something where like you feel like you're hitting hard against the wall, I would encourage you to really pray about it. To one, find out if it's actually really God's will for your life. And if it's not, I would encourage you to um, let it go because this is the way it works. It's like you have two things in your hand. Okay, well, yeah, you have two things in your hand and you're holding it like this, right? And if you don't open up your hands to let that thing in your hand go, you can't receive another thing. So what am I saying? I'm saying that God does not force his will on his kids. He lets us know what his mind is for us. And it is our decision at the end of the day to decide to accept it and decide to walk in his perfect will for our lives. So I would say that God's will and God's plan is way better than the things that we've planned for ourselves. Like, trust me, time and time again, I've had to remind myself that, Timmy, God's plans and his desires for your life are better than the things you've thought of for yourself. So if there's anything that you've thought of like you've been like see nothing can beat this idea i've had trust me if god's will if it's not god's will god's will is much better because it pleased god while we were yet sinners to send christ to die for us in our infinite wisdom as men we could never have thought that up we could never have decided that god would come as a man and die for us that was not our plan that was not our wisdom but he chose to do the doing and he chose to give himself for us so I'm beyond convinced that he's able to do more for him, more things for us, to provide for us, to take care of us. So just relax. Like, first thing I'm going to say, just relax. Pray. Know what God's will is about it. If it's God's will that you just let that thing go, let that idea go, just let it go. And then pray for the, what he actually wants you to do and where he wants you to be because that's where we get the most satisfaction. So yeah, I'll just encourage everybody to just chill, relax calm down and this internship season everything season rejoice with those who are rejoicing if your friends are getting internships be happy for them be genuinely happy for them because it's very easy to become very bitter and to just like slowly let that seed grow inside you to the point where you're not even happy for people anymore you're just like you know what i'm over this but then i would encourage you just be happy for be genuinely happy for people if you're struggling with that i'll ask you to, i'll just encourage you to pray about it and tell God to help you be genuinely happy for people because it is a joy to see other people succeeding you. Because when it is your turn, even if, it, if like even regardless of that, it's just a joy to see other people succeeding because so many of the things that people are able to do now, women are able to do now, young people are able to do now, we never could do in the past. So if there's somebody doing it, it's amazing and it's a win for us. It's a win for all of us. And what I would encourage you to do is always make sure that you speak and voice your concerns to people of faith, meaning that like voice your concern to people who will encourage you and people who will pray for you and who will pray with you concerning god's will for your life you know people who will just people who will pray for god's will concerning your life and who will point you in the right direction who will tell you okay now i don't think this is it i think this is it that kind of thing is always helpful for a believer and then the last thing i would encourage everyone to do is just to relax and trust god's timing for your life because his timing is perfect his timing is perfect you can trust him to do things in the right time at the right moment in the right spot in the right place to the best degree quote me anywhere because my life is a living testimony of god's never failing love of god's of god's just uplift me and because there's so many things that i'm not even going to share on youtube because you know they are very personal or whatever but god has really carried me like a kid on his back for many years and you know, even this video is just a declaration of my faith and my trust in him for where things are going to go from here because I have no idea, but I trust him and I just encourage you to trust him too. Be happy. Your life is not dependent on your achievements or your successes. Life is not measured by all of that. Life is measured by so much more. At the end of the day, our degrees don't even really matter because they fade. They are just pieces of paper. I'm sorry. They're not pieces of paper. Get your degree. But you know what I mean. 
those achievements are not worth your happiness they're not worth you being sad or you being moody about there's so many other things you could do over the summer so many other things you could do just encourage yourself stay happy and you know what i love you guys so much if you ever want to reach out to me my instagram i will leave it in the description box below so you guys can connect with me that's where you actually get to talk to me probably because if you whatsapp me it's not gonna work <laughs> people on whatsapp already know this so basically um i will be praying for you um i don't want to encourage you like i really 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 just felt in my heart to encourage people like what you're worrying about what you're holding in your hand like holding to your chest like just let it go and feel god's peace over your life feel god's happiness over your life so i just want to pray for you that all is well with you i pray that the love of god is shed abroad in your heart the love of god is shed abroad in our hearts by christ jesus and i pray that you just discern so much more that god has made you complete and in the right time at the right moment this is desire like what you want for yourself you want better for you i promise you and he loves you so much he doesn't want you to miss out on anything in life all right so i'm just going to end the video here so it doesn't get too long again please stay happy please 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 stay happy stay motivated your dreams will come true it doesn't matter how long they take and they will come true you will get to the place where you want to get to just make sure you're doing it for the right reason you're doing it for the right like purpose or whatever and trust god if you've never ever heard about christ before this is my opportunity to share god's love with you that he really loves you he loves you so dearly he loved you while you were yet a sinner he loved you and this relationship that you have with god number one is a sonship meaning that you're not a servant you are actually his kid meaning you can interrupt him at any time and be like father i need to speak to you secondly this kind of thing is a gift meaning that you receive it freely you just believe that jesus christ is the son of god and that he died for us and that he was raised on the third day and you're saved and what god does for you is that everything pertaining to life and godliness everything you need to grow is found in him and it's a fantastic relationship it changed my life for the better and you know if you've believed on these three things i just want to welcome you into the family of god you are god's child and i pray for god's blessing over you please find a bible believing church and grow spiritually because it's what will help you navigate life it will help you mature and it's god's desire for you all right so i think i've talked enough for tonight i'm gonna go back to praying to find my missing item um see you guys on the next episode of what fill it in the comment section below because we're trying to find something for that time all right so i love you guys stay blessed stay motivated stay encouraged stay happy and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.